welcome to the beer review of me, Jake. So today we are drinking Roaster Coaster from Brewdog in collaboration with Evil Twin. This is their Nitro Imperial Vietnamese Coffee Stout coming in at 9%. Picked this one up at Tesco's. Don't go to Tesco's that often, but we found ourselves there today. And out of all the new stuff, this was the only one I really had any sort of a want to try. I was surprised that, so it's in a 402 mil can. It sort of has the American type can top to it. So I assume this is actually brewed in America and not, not Scotland. Which is, which is just quite interesting really. The ingredients on this one are Water, malted barley, oats, lactose, wheat, coffee, yeast, natural vanilla flavouring, cacao nibs, and hops. So yeah, sounds interesting. I mean, three pound fifty from Tesco's nine percent nitro imperial stout. Crazy stuff. Oh, you got the nitro sound to it there for sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's delivered on the pour. That's for sure. Yeah, you got that gradient going up the glass there. Looks like sort of the bottom of a of a cappuccino when you when you finished it. Give it a little swirl and a sniff on the old conch. Have all those sort of adjuncts and everything that sort of in that beer. The first thing that jumped out to me was actually like a red berry note. <laughs> There's an instant coffee aroma to it for me. It doesn't smell like a, like an artisan espresso or anything like that. Actually, do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like a coffee, like a, a coffee chocolate. A bit like the Quality Street coffee chocolate. Sort of sweet, milky edge to it. Getting a little sort of hint, a little whiff of something sort of metallic, which is slightly off-putting, but let's give it a, a good go, shall we? Cheers. God, that nitro does make it smooth. It is damn smooth. I'm not getting a hint of 9% ABV. I think it's masked by the by the nitro pour and, and there is a big sweet kick for, to this one for me. I'd like the coffee to come out a little bit more. The coffee is quite muted. It, for me, it is going more down the chocolate and vanilla side than, than sort of coffee. Yeah, for me, it tastes more like the natural coffee-ness that you get in an imperial stout anyway. It doesn't taste like they've added coffee to it. Do you know what? For £3.50, with that luxurious mouthfeel, it's definitely worth a go. I mean, it's not the best. It's nowhere near the best. But it's also nowhere near the worst, and that's that's uh, that's no mean feat. <sighs> yeah, so as always on the Brewdog can, there's a load of stuff to read, which I haven't quite got around to doing yet, so maybe I'll give that a read after this. Actually, let's read it now. Just kidding. That was my opinion on Roaster Coaster from Brewdog, in collaboration with Evil Twin. Their Nitro Imperial. Vietnamese coffee stout and for £3.50 if you find yourself in a Tesco's I'd, I'd pick one up, I'd, I'd probably pick another one up. I'd be Jake, remember to like and subscribe, leave a comment about this beer, about sort of your thoughts on Brewdog in general. I know there's lots of, lots of talk and lots of other videos about that subject but I wanted this one just to be just to be about this beer really. So there we go. See you on the next one. Oh cheers!